Okay, okay, gang, what's going on? So, I have tonight's status. It's an official status for the game, but I have something even better. Good news on Carlos Rodon. He threw a live hitter session today, okay, and he conquered it. Absolutely conquered it, and that's music to my ears, man. Really looking for that's a next, it's a big step towards, you know, live uh, rehab assignment. So it sounds like he's going to do at least one more, and then they can decide on a rehab assignment. But he threw against guys like Jake Bowers, Oswaldo Cabrera, and a couple other folks. And then he obviously added some pitching uh, for volume as well, but he threw, I think it was 20 to 25 pitches. He was, he was around 93, 94 miles an hour with his fastball. He had some movement on it, and uh, which is great news. Really, really, really great news. And again, with consistency, and he felt good. During and it sounds like he feel good. He feels good afterwards. I'm waiting for more news, maybe tomorrow, to see how we how he recovers because that's an important part of it too. But um, all signs pointing towards Rodon making a huge step forward in the in the uh, his, in his path to coming back and officially uh, getting on the mound for the Yankees. So um, I'm very excited about that. So now. Oh, by the way, I'll keep up updating you on that. If you're not subscribed to this channel, I hope that you enjoy this content enough to do that. And it will just, at the very least, make sure you don't miss anything when it comes to the Yankees. So, now in terms of game status, the game has been unofficially canceled. Um, and uh, <clears throat> I'm just waiting for the official uh, announcement, in which case I will put out a uh, YouTube short or something like that, or maybe another short video, just to make sure that you know that it's been canceled. But... The air quality is worse than it was yesterday. These Canadian wildfires, what's happening is it's traveling, the effect of it's traveling south in Canada. And um, even the Yankees yesterday, they canceled their scranton wilkes Bear game in uh, Pennsylvania, their minor league game. But the problem is the major at the major level, it's different. You have to have approval, joint approval from Major League Baseball and the MLB Players Union to cancel a game or postpone a game because of weather conditions. Teams themselves individually cannot do that. It has to be a joint effort by the association and the, the MLB league itself. The minor leagues is a little bit different. So it looks like tonight's game is very likely going to be canceled and, and scheduled tomorrow, as as uh, as we know right now, as part of a doubleheader. So that that's what we have right now. If anything changes there, you'll get it. But the sky looks bad, and uh, you know, and if you're going to go outside for an extended period of time, please wear a mask. Just protect your ass, protect your breathing, protect your respiratory, and all that stuff. So because it's not, uh, it's not good right now. So it's, it sounds like you might be here for a couple more days, maybe until Friday. The, the, the really bad effect of it. So, and that's a slow southern trending uh, effect right now. So that's what I got for you. So Rodon, huge step mo moving forward. Very, very exciting to hear that. Very, very excited to share that with you. And news on the game. I'm not surprised. I mean, this is a way of protecting. You want to protect the fans. Protect the players, protect the arms, protect both teams. Like, just protect people all again. Protect the concessions, people, whoever else works there. Protect them there. This is bad stuff. So, and it needs to get over the hump of you know, getting better and a lot less uh, toxic. So, and I mean, I can smell, I can smell it, and it's not good. It's not good. So that's what I got for you right now. If anything else that comes out, gang, you know you're gonna get here. Have a good day, everybody. Be safe, especially if you're in New York. And I'll talk to you next time.